Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. Today in this episode, we are going to kick off a new let's play of a game called Farlight Explorers. Let's just jump right in. I'm going to hit new. There's four different game modes we can choose from. You can pause if you want to read all of these. We're going to go with classic mode. That's like all the functionality. And then we've got galaxy status. These strike me as like chapters. We're, again, you can pause if you want to read what these are all about. I'm just going to go ahead and select the first one. First Explorer. And it's loading up. Okay, during expansion of Humanity to the Stars, a new team was created with the only objective of finding new galaxies, plenty of resources. Called Firelight Explorers, their mission is to find new galaxies suitable for human life. Once a galaxy is reached, they have to create bases in different planets and extract and automatize enough products. Well, that's fast. I can't read it all. <laughs> in order to build in the core of the galaxy, the singularity gate that will need to connect the newly discovered galaxy with the main galaxy. All right. Okay, let's see. We've got a tutorial here. It says you've just started the game. Now you are in the galaxy map. To zoom the map, use scroll up, scroll down. Use the moving keys for moving the map. Left click on a star to show their planets. Left click on a planet to show the planet and left click again to enter the planet. All right, so a bunch of left clicks. And it says, if this is your first game, it's recommendable to choose a planet with iron and copper. Then you can see the tutorials after by clicking the info button in your inventory. All right, let's escape out of this tutorial. Looks like there's a bunch of tutorial content in here. All right, we need to pick a planet, I think with iron and copper, right? I just picked a system. Let's say I'll hit escape. Here's our galaxy. Let's pick something different. Buddhist. Let's see what that's all about. Can I get to that one? Movement keys. Let's see. Okay, left click. All right, Buddhist. What do we got here? We need a planet that's got iron and... Okay, that's only got titanium. Iron and copper, I think, is what they suggested, right? Sulfur, uranium. Boy, a lot of planets in here. Iron, copper, and coal. Uh, does it have water? Level of water is low. We'll keep that one in mind. Uh, is there a way to rotate this? Not sure. I'm holding the middle mouse button. I'm trying to change the plane that we're looking at, but I can't really do it. I can get closer though. This guy, no water. I think we want water, iron, and coal, and copper actually. No water, Buddhist 8. No water, Buddhist 10. High water, quartz, and vanadium. They suggested iron and copper. Who does for? Iron, copper, coal, water, low. Desert planet. Hmm. Let's come back out. How about Centauri? Centauri 5 doesn't have what we need. This guy's got oil and coal. Titanium. All right, if I'm going kind of quick, let's do zero sulfur and uranium. Nope. Again, we want iron, copper, and coal and water. Iron, copper, coal, and water is low. This is a rocky planet. Let's give it a shot. Maybe the water will be fine. Click on the planet to enter. Okay, here we go. Boom. We'll see. This Let's Play will probably keep this one a little short. We'll see. Just want to give you a feel for what this game has to offer. I uh, requested a key from the developer months and months and months ago. He granted that request, so thanks to the developer for that. And, uh, all right, let's see. Your escape pod has landed on this planet. Your first goal is survival. Find the escape pod and salvage the handful of resources that remain. Use the laser drill you attain from the escape pod to mine minerals from the various deposits on the planet. Then build solar generators, wires, and furnaces. Next, use the refined minerals and the few ingots you salvage to build a water pump with electricity and water available to you. Your final goal to survive on this planet is to build the food and oxygen generators. Now that you have everything you need to survive, you should focus on creating a base. Create your base so it will gather resources for you, refine them, and eventually craft them into the products you need in order to build a spaceship. You need to explore other planets in order to find rare and unique resources. Ultimately, you'll need to build the Singularity Gate near the super massive black hole at the core of the galaxy. There are many items you need to manufacture in order to build the gate. 
and should be constantly moving towards that eventual goal. This is the only way to accomplish your mission and return home as a hero to your people. A very rich hero. Sounds good to me. All right, find and select the escape pod with the mouse. Press F in order to loot the handful of resources you will need to survive. Scattered around the escape pod will be other containers with valuable resources as well. All right, let's get started. Let's find stuff. Now, I played, did a little bit of playthrough on this before, but uh, I did it on a different planet. So I'm not sure what to expect. How this is going to look. It's very dark. I've got a flashlight here. Uh, maybe not. Let's, uh, explore this stuff. I gotta hit F to get in here. Pop that into my inventory, whatever that was. Let's take a look. That is graphene. Where's the escape pod? It's got, I must have missed it. Okay, these tutorials are gonna kind of pop up at inopportune times initially, but we'll read through them. How to gather mineral. Take the laser drill from the escape pod or craft it, and then put it in the quick inventory. Select it and press the right mouse button for firing. Shoot the rocks and touch the minerals in order to get them. And then you can collect the rocks in order to know what kind of minerals are and quantity left. At the beginning of the game, it's important to extract iron and copper. You can see this tip in the message menu inside the inventory menu. Okay, let's escape out of that. And they're talking about, okay, there's another tip over there on the left-hand side. Looks like what we just saw. In here in our inventory, I can just hit tab or I to get into here. There's, I think, this little envelope. Or is it, I thought it was this little envelope would take us into the tutorial. Where is that? Oh, the question marks do. That gets us in the tutorial. We need to find our, our actual ship. These are little storage containers. But they're not really what we're looking for here. Okay, we did that one. Okay, use the oxygen bottle. Take it from the escape pod, put it in the quick inventory, and press G to fill up your oxygen. We'll see that in a bit. So bear with me while I disable or dismiss a lot of these tutorial messages. Okay, right now I'm just walking around looking for our escape pod. You guys probably saw it. I don't see it. But it's going to be in this general area. Bunch of rocks. I don't have a mining laser, so there's nothing I can really do other than walk in a circle and see if we can find our little drop pod. Hey, how to eat. Same thing. It's the G key. I'm just going to dismiss that. And I'm looking for pieces of spaceship. We're on a rocky planet. We're also going to be looking for mineral deposits here before too long. Copper, iron, and coal. And then also water. Man, this is desolate. I must have uh, walked far, far away from our ship. I feel like I'm going in a big circle here, but maybe not. Still looking for stuff. You can see in the lower... Uh, Left of the screen are statistics. We've got a shield that's worth 100. Health is at 100. And then oxygen and food are slowly depleting as I run around like a nut. Okay, I'm just going to escape over the, out of these messages. Okay, there's a nice ore deposit. Uh, copper. 6,060 units of copper. Okay, we're getting to ore deposit. That's that's a good sign, because I think our dropship will be around here. This may be the same thing I keep looking at. Let's find out. Uh, F, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, let's head this way towards these ore deposits. This is probably where we need to be. I think these ore deposits are clustered right around your drop ship, or your drop pod. Okay, we've got some coal, 5,800 of that. Hey, I see another piece. Uh, I see another storage container over there. We'll head over that way. Let's see what kind of ore we've got over here. Iron, 5160. More coal, 5400. And click on this thing and then hit F to get into it. Uh, we got some wood and we got some plastic. We'll take it. 
I'm just going to escape out of those tutorials for now. We'll get back to them. Copper, 6,000. There's our, that's got to be it straight ahead, right? Our drop pod. That's going to have our mining laser. That's going to allow us to actually get something done here. And another little storage container here as well. We can do that one real quick. Ooh, quartz, iron plates, copper plates. We'll take it all. We got some bio gel. I'm not sure what that is. Uranium. And then we saw the wood and the plastic and the graphene already. Let's click on this guy. Hit F. Check it out. Got a bunch of stuff here. They told us to take the laser drill and put it on our hot bar. We'll do that. Takes two clicks. I'm going to take the oxygen, boom, and pop that on here too. And I'm going to take this, these boxes of food and plunk those down. And it's G, the G key to uh, use food and to use oxygen. All right, how to generate oxygen. You have to craft three objects. The water pump, the oxygen generator, and the oxygen dispenser. The water pump has to be exactly over a water place. The oxygen generator needs water and electricity. Once the oxygen generator is working, you have to put it near, you have to put near the oxygen generator and oxygen dispenser. In order to fill the oxygen bar, you have to stay near the oxygen dispenser. Important. You can use the water pump station and oxygen station in order to generate oxygen very quickly. Stations are pre-made structures with all the necessary objects. That machine requires to work. Okay, we're going to see that in a second. Before we do, let me just collect some more resource from these little dropped pods here. If we can, our inventory is probably going to fill up here pretty soon. Uh, there's some more quartz. We'll take it. That stacks in nice. We get a few more here. Some wood, some iron, some more quartz. That all stacks nicely. Got some resource deposits over there. Boom, more plastic, printed circuit board, copper springs and lead. All right, all sounds good. More deposits there. Not sure what they are, but uh, more biogel, sulfur this time and some wood. All right. Here's our mining laser, I just equipped it. I'll show you how we can mine some ore. We'll come up on, what is this? Let's see. Copper. All I got to do is point and click, hold it down. And then you can see in the top right, we're collecting copper. Now, depending on how I shoot this thing, that copper will go flying. See it kind of flying over to the side. We got to be kind of near it, but if you, you collect it, but if you're real close up, it'll automatically kind of collect the ore. So let's grab 20 of this copper. I know we're going to need a ton of it. So we'll just grab 20 and kind of break up the tedium into chunks. And then let's look at the tutorial now. Tab, go into the question mark. And okay, just started the game. Okay, we saw that. Let's skip ahead. This is your planet. In order to extract resources, you got the mining drill. We just saw that. Inventory is I or tab. Okay, we've done all this. You can deselect any slot of your quick inventory by pressing the right click. Oh, interesting. It just forwarded on its own. Oh, this is another tutorial that popped on top of the other one. Okay, how to craft ingots. You will need iron or copper ingots to create some machines. To obtain some mineral ingots, you will have to build a furnace with electricity, put inside the furnace the ore, and in some time you will receive the ingots. To introduce ore, you have to select the furnace with a right click and press F. All right, we'll get to that. Okay, this says, I'm kind of reading halfway down there, resource veins over the ground. If you click on them, you will receive info about the resource. You only have to shoot it and pass over the little stones in order to pick them up. Pressing C, you can toggle the jet pack. And then there's a couple different camera views that we can do. H, G, and J give us different camera views. There's a flashlight here too. Where is it? Oh, it should be F. I don't know if I need to, is it on here? Let's see, there is a flashlight. If we look in options, controls, it uses F. Oh, flashlight's L. Boom, boom. Oh, we have it on. Boy, this is a dark planet. All right, all right. How to create food. 
you only need a food generator that needs water and electricity, the food generator will create or creates the food generator will create food crates each certain time. So the English is a little broken on here, but we'll get it figured out. Okay, we've already emptied these. It's dark. I've got my light on, believe it or not. Wow, it's a stark planet. What I'd like to do is actually find some water. It's going to be hard to do in the dark. We've got iron here. Let's mine some of this. We'll grab 20 of these. I think this is used for foundations. All right, let's go into let's see crafting menu is this little wrench here. Okay. Oh, these tutorials are popping up when I don't want them to the night. The night is very dark to so put some beacons near the mineral veins in order to light the zone around the minerals. The night is useful to gather some minerals or build something when you don't have any electricity. All right, that's fine. That flashlight does almost nothing here. Man, it's dark. All right, back to what I was trying to do. Here's our build menu. And then these, all these little icons here are the different categories of things we can build. This is obviously everything. This, does it tell us what these are? Not really, but this is all power related stuff. Oxygen water and piping it looks like and then we've got uh fuel Ooh, we're, something's happening here i hear noises i saw smoke i think we just had some uh meteorites crash down nothing really to worry about because we don't have anything built that can be destroyed just yet Go back into that build menu we know we need um we need oxygen and we know we need food. We know we need electricity. So they talked about there being modules. Let's go through the rest of these little menus first and then we'll get to those. Here's the fuel things we can build. This is stuff for oil, mostly pipes and some factories. Uh, I'm guessing that, is, oh, petrochemicals for here. All right. This guy is acid. This is, I think, like a base. I have not done this yet. These are rooms, corridors, things to build our base and spaceport. Initial colony base. So we'll get to that. I've never tried that yet. Down here, we've got factory stations. And we saw this in the help. This was telling us that this will actually build all of the things necessary to get us working. So remember how they talked about with the oxygen you need? an oxygen generator and a dispenser and something else. These will do it all in one shot for us. We need, let's see, we need 30 iron and 15 copper. And we've got plenty of both oxygen generator with all the necessary objects to start working. Let's select this. Boom. Puts that on our hot bar. This is as light as it's going to get outside, man. I don't like the lighting on this particular planet. This looks like a reasonably open area. Maybe even over here is a little better. Let me select number two in my hotbar. And look, it's got, whoop. You can see, you can kind of see. I think we have some different camera views that might help. You can see that's going to build a solar panel, the oxygen dispenser, and I think the oxygen producer or something, but it's just like a module. That gets us all the component parts in one shot. You go back to our normal view here. Yeah, that's the view I want. And just find a spot for this. I guess anywhere is fine. Boom, right click. And I think, oh, this guy, does he need water? I think he does. Let's see what this guy is. Oxygen generator. Water. Shoot, maybe we shouldn't have built it there. All right, a couple things. If I hit the C key, we've got a jetpack with, I think, unlimited fuel. 
spacebar to stay up high and then at the left control to lower ourselves. We need to find water for this oxygen generator. A little slower moving with the jetpack. But we need to find a water deposit. Oh, there's one straight ahead. That is going to work for water. So let's, uh, I'm going to escape out of that tutorial. We'll come back to it. Let's see if we can grab this thing up. We're going to have to take this stuff up and try it again. May have wasted a little bit of resources, but I think this needs to be built over a water deposit. A little pipe there. I'll grab that. Let's fly over where that water was. Where was it? Over here. And maybe I can land. Let's try that again. I think I've got what I need. So back in inventory. The build menu here with the little wrench. Modules, this little hexagon. Uh, oxygen station. I think. That's the one. Okay, surviving. Okay, surviving. Now you can survive in the planet. However, the game is just the starting. Your base is a mess of wires, pipelines, and machines. It is better to organize everything. Again, thinking about it in a scalable base as a scalable base. Once you have done it, you will have to start to automate the extraction of minerals and the creation of products using conveyor belts, robotic arms, and more because the next machine will need more resources. Finished an auto... <laughs> Finish an automated base, you will be able to build a spaceship and visit other planets in order to gather new resources. You can read this tip in the message menu inside the inventory member. Okay, the English is pretty horrible there. But we're going to figure it out. I kind of know somewhat what we need to do already. It's not terribly hard. Ooh, this guy is kind of collapsing down in there. Let's go to... Let's look at the help. And let's look at oxygen real quick. Okay, your character needs oxygen to live. Now you can build an oxygen generator. I'm just going to read this quiet. You can read it too. Thought we had to put that over water. But it doesn't seem to want to take it. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the water generator. There's something for that. Deep water pump. This machine doesn't need a water spot to pump water. Okay, that's fine. This one. You have to build this machine exactly over a water place. Let's grab that and put it on the hot bar. Uh, we don't have the resources. I need more iron. It's like I blew through my iron by making mistakes. Go find an iron deposit. I think there's one right here. We'll grab some more iron. Probably grab like 30 of this. And see if we can't get this, uh, this going. Basically our oxygen production. Now if you look in the lower left, we just got a little beep that's <laughs> for a warning on oxygen. Not to worry, we've actually got plenty. We'll chew some of that up at, chew some of that up in a minute. Let's uh get to 40 here on the iron. Boom, looks good to me. I'm just gonna move my toolbar over to the oxygen tank here and hit the G key. Boom, that gets us up to 42, 62, 82. We'll leave it there so we don't waste any. Food, same thing, hit the G key, boom, 81. We're good to go. All right, let's head back over to where we saw the water. Wasn't that over this way? Let me hit the, uh, let me take a look at the jetpack here. Where was that water? There it is, right in front of us. Control the land. Now, build menu. Water. 
Water pump. I'm going to grab the water pump. Put it on our hot bar. Three. That guy's going to snap in. Should snap in right where we need it. I think right there. Boom. It's going to need electricity. At least we've got a water pump. Let's do the oxygen station. We're going to have to get... Ooh, it looks like they're going to let us build it. I wonder if I can make this higher up. It might work where it's at. Let's do it here. Can I rotate this guy? I can. Let's try right there. Boom. And then let's see if we can get this thing hooked up and working. Looks like... I don't know if this is supposed to be pumping water. Those don't look the same. Let's click this thing. Oxygen generator. Water needed. So we got to send water into this thing. Where does water come out of our water pump? Maybe one of these two ports in the, up here. Let's get some pipes. Go to the build menu, back to water. And we need iron for these. Probably need one of those, maybe one of those. More pipes. Uh, I think, can I rotate this whole thing? I don't think I can. Yeah, the water's in kind of a bad spot. But we'll make it work. We'll see if we can make it work. You have my light on, even though it's dark. All right, let's place... Can I place a pipe? Here. Here, that's what I want. And we'll rotate this guy. Like that. Boom. We need to get that all the way over to here. I'm going to use this little brancher in case we want to branch later. And then I suppose I could go up high so it's out of our way and then bring it back down. I think we have to connect it right to this guy. Let's keep it simple for now. We can always make it look pretty later. Boom. You can see I'm going to need at least two more curved. Build those. I think I'll take a T-junction, a curve. More of these guys. Whoops. That's wire. We'll hold on to the wire. We may need it, but that's not what I wanted to build. Water pipe. Curved. And one of those. If that's wire, that's pipe. I just had to double check. All right, snap on some pipes here. A little too many. Let's use the T-junction. Just in case we want to expand the network. And one more pipe. Okay, now these guys all need electricity. This guy is getting some electricity automatically, or should be. From here. That solar panel. I'm going to grab some more oxygen from our little hot bar storage here. And some food as well. Now we need to get power over to this water generator. I believe. So let's uh, build 
Let's look at what we can build. We stopped here last time. These are the modules. Here we've got our foundations and walls and things. The foundations are going to be pretty important. We're probably going to use those right about now. Here we have our conveyor belts and there's some open air ones here. And then it looks like there's some that are like enclosed. I haven't tried those yet. And here we've got, I believe these are little factory buildings, different kinds of stuff. Electromagnet, biogel factory, more factory things there. Map module, spaceship, spaceport, cool. And it looks like we've got rail. And what is this? Trade outposts, trade outpost and robotic arm. Trade, configurable robotic arm, select the angle, angle and the only product the robotic arm will buy from the chest of the store. Okay, this has to do with trade, I think all that. That is control computer. Planet marker. We'll get to that, I guess, later, those things. We, I think, want some foundations. Let's make some of these. At least four. We're going to need iron. Let's go find some more iron. Eventually, we're going to be able to have uh, this stuff all auto mined for us. But initially, we got to do it by hand. This is copper. While we're here, I'm going to grab, I don't know, ten of these. Just since we're here. You got to find iron. Straight ahead, I think. Uh, or is that more copper? I have color blindness issues, so I can't always tell. That is more copper. We'll grab ten more of that. We're going to use all this. Trust me. Where is the iron? Let's get on the jet pack. Take a look. That looks like more coal. Where's iron? Just mine some. I think that's coal there, right? Does it tell us? See if I just click it. Yeah, there's coal. Copper. Copper. Coal. We had iron right near us. Apparently not. There it is. There's iron right there. I'm going to go ahead and just turn off my jetpack. We'll grab probably, probably need to grab 30 of this. Right, back to our little factory set up here. Again, we're working towards power so we can produce oxygen. We need, we have power set up over here for the oxygen generator itself. Came with the module, but we need power for this water pump, apparently. So we're going to do that on foundations. Build some more of those. That's this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Grab eight, so we've got plenty. And let's look at, before we even place these, let me double check and make sure we don't have a module that'll do it for us. Okay, here's solar generator with battery. That guy takes 20 iron and I used up all our iron. We gotta get more iron. We've got the copper, we've got the iron ingots. I think this is what we want, the solar generator with a battery. But I gotta get more iron again. Grab some. I need 20. Bear with me while I get familiar with the game's systems. It's been a little while since I last played. We'll go for 30 again just to kind of break it up. And then once we get these last 10, I'll grab a sip of oxygen and a sip of food. You can see in the bottom left. Okay, G for those, boom, and boom. We still got plenty of both, I think we're okay. Oh, 
we get an enemy. There's our enemy. They're like these little green blobs. And they will shoot at us. In fact, there's one behind us here. We just gotta shoot them. They die pretty easy. Not actually that much of a threat. You guys are gone. Let's get a solar panel down on this dark planet. Hopefully we get to some actual power generated. I don't know if we picked a bad planet for uh, sunlight. It sure seems dark here. Solar generated with battery. Okay, that's now on the hotbar. Let's... Plunk this down. That looks a little off. <laughs> that does not look right. Something's not right. Let's do platforms. Now let's try placing this, see if it's a little better. I think that is better. Let's take a look at this thing and see if we can figure out where the power is going to come out. That looks like a port right there. We need to hook in over this way. Right, I think we need to hook in right to that thing. So let's put this here, rotate it. That I think might do it for us. Fortunately, I made some electrical cable that I didn't need, but we've got it now, so let's use it. Boom. Boom. I'll use the T-junction I made. Pretty sure I'm going to just check the inventory. Make sure that is cable, not pipe. Yep, electric junction. Pop that guy down there. Then I'm probably going to need... Curve one. I think I got it. I'm hitting R to rotate. And you can also hit um, T and Y to change the uh, axis of rotation when I'm placing these cables. All right. This is our cable. Boom. Okay. Accidentally hit escape. Get off of that. Okay. We have to wait till the daylight to actually see if this is going to work. Looks like the battery is showing some charge. That's good to see. Power output, 1500. Solar generator with battery. This guy. Oh, whoop. We got an enemy. Let's take that guy out. Again, these aren't really much of a threat. Okay, we are actually generating some water, I think. Click on this guy and see. Okay, the internal battery is charging. It has storage for 1,200 units of whatever, electricity. Internal tank value 20. You have to build this machine directly over a water place. We've done it. Let's see what this guy says. This guy's internal battery is charging. I can't tell if it's got water. Oh, look at our oxygen. See how it's at 100? This is working. This little thing sticking out here is the oxygen dispenser. All we need to do is walk near this thing and it's going to recharge our the oxygen in our suit. So that's why we're at 100. All right, we've got food. I mean, we've got water. We've got oxygen. We've got some electricity powering those things. Let me just check the storage, make sure we got this guy. Nope, there's stuff in there. Let's take it. Next, we need to think about food. Let's take a look at that real quick. Tab. Probably a module, so I'm going to go to the hexagon here. Pillar to elevate buildings. Water pump station, we already did that. Oxygen station, we've got that. A okay, food station. Food generator with all the necessary objects to start working. We need 30 iron, which I don't have, and 15 copper, which I do have. Again, we're going to be able to automatically mine this with machines, but for now we got to use our little hand laser. I'm going to go ahead and grab 30 more of this. All right, and 
you can, I should mention, you can build all of these things. We're building one component at a time. Like this solar panel actually has two things, a solar panel and a battery. We could build those separate. And then this oxygen thing has like all kinds of stuff, right? A solar panel, a battery, a dispenser, and the generator all as one buildable thing. I recommend using those modules early on to get familiar with the game. But later on, they're going to make the uh, factory kind of messy because you can't control the placement or fine tune where you're putting your machines when you're using these modules. We're going to start off using the modules and then we're going to move to just using one component at a time. But I'm starting with the modules because they are a lot easier to get going uh, as you get familiar with the game. Okay, modules here. Here's our food station. I got everything I need for it. Um, we're going to have to supply this, I think, with water or something oh what am i missing hopper oh, i've got one already on the hot bar so we're good let's take a look at the help system and just see if it says anything about food boom your character needs food to live food is generated in the food generator when you place a food generator if it's working it will generate food crates the food generator needs electric power and water in order to eat place the food crate in your quick inventory, select the food crate and press the G key. And then you will get hungry with time. If your food bar is empty, you will lose health. Eventually you die, I think, if you don't have the food. Which makes sense. This needs water. Do I hear an enemy nearby? I thought I heard something. Maybe it was just a water pump. Let's hop up in the jetpack and just survey the area. I don't see any green blobs. So I think we're good. Back to the surface here and let's place our food generator. I don't know if we've got extra power here, but we're right near the water and we're right near this power. Let's see if we can figure that out actually. And we tap into this power. Power output is 1500 watts. It's only feeding this guy. He only needs 300 watts. So we can definitely tap into the power. We can probably tap into the water too. This guy generates 300 liters per second, I'm going to say. This guy only takes 50. So yeah, our food can go over here. And we've got ample power and water right nearby. Let's see what this thing's going to look like. Oh man, it's a monster. Okay. Okay. Where are your ports? Okay, oh, comes with its own power. We don't have to worry about that. We want to get close to the water pipe. Let me turn that off just for a second so we can see what we're doing. We we'll, might tap into this guy right here. But can we put the food over here somewhere in a way we can get to the water? I think that's our water port straight ahead. Let's plunk this guy down here. Boom. Okay, I hear web guy, bad guys here. Let's take these guys out. They usually come in twos. Let's head up. See where the other one is if he's around. Oh, there's one way in the distance. Now we can shoot our laser pretty far. You can see it in the center of the screen. I think I can hit that from here. Yeah, there he goes. Boom. There's one way out there too. Can't shoot that far apparently. So we've got pretty good range. Wow, there's another one over here, right? Yeah, I can't quite shoot that far. Anyway, they're not a threat. Get back down here and hook up the water. Get food going, and then we will call this an episode once we verify that it works. Okay, here's my pipes. Um, boom. Boom. And I'm probably going to put a T-junction over here, just because I think we're going to still have extra water. I go one more, yep. I hear noises. Is it just... I don't know if it's the buildings that are making the noises or if there's an enemy nearby. I don't see any threats. Come back down. Turn off the jetpack. I think we have infinite fuel for the jetpack. 
All right, let's build a few more pipes. I want a T-joint so we can tap into that water some more and probably a few straight pipes. Tab to get to inventory, wrench to get to the building. Water is here. Probably a couple of those and one of those for now. I think that might do it. And the T-joint goes here, select that off the hot bar, plunk that down. And the straight ones here, rotate with R, boom, boom. Accidentally hit escape. Probably going to do that a lot. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to click on this guy and see what he tells us. Power needed 300. Internal battery is charging, so it's getting power. Water needed 10 liters per second. Are you getting your water? You should be. Right? We're hooked up. This is our water. Can I click on one of these and see anything? Okay, water pump to water pump from tanks. Water used in tanks. Water rate, 240 liters per second. Is this guy producing? I just don't know. Internal battery is charging slowly. Uh, it needs 300 watts. It may not start till it gets that power. Let's check out, let's take out some of these trees. Just to free up space. Okay, we're collecting some wood. While we're over here at the copper mine, let's grab 20 of these. We'll do a little bit of mining here while it's dark. We're going to need all this copper, I'm sure of it. All right. Get some of these trees out of here. Not sure if we can take out these rocks. I don't think so yet. It doesn't look like it. Uh, here is coal, I believe. Where's iron again? We know we need the iron. Straight ahead. Nope, that's more copper. It's more copper. Apologize, it's my color blindness. Can't always tell. All right, I got to back up a little bit. I'm too close. Might as well grab 20 more of this. Like I said, I know we're going to need it. Kind of need to kill a little bit of time here till daylight. And I want to verify the food is working. And then we'll call this an episode. Copper there. Looks like daylight might be coming here soon. Is this our iron? Looks like it. Let's grab some of that. Oxygen's at 90 or 89 now, if you look at the bottom left. Food's at 60. We should be able to pick up some food here in a minute. Grab 10 more of these, just so we have it on hand. In early game, we've got to do hand mining. It's not unlike any other factory game I think I've ever played. Let's take a look and see if this guy's doing anything for us. Still says internal battery 125. I'm guessing it may need... Let's see. Oh, let me hit F. Okay. If I select this guy with the mouse button and then hit F to get its inventory, there's our food right there. It's already producing some. So we'll grab six food crates, just put them on our hotbar. Boom. Oxygen looks good. We're at 85 oxygen, but let's go eat the food first. I'll hit G. Boom. Boom. That gets us up to 98. And then rather than use the oxygen tanks on our hotbar, all we got to do is walk over to this oxygen station. Check us out. We're at 84 oxygen. As soon as I walk over near this thing, look at that. It's already filled up to 100. So that's going to be handy. I think there's going to be a way to create more of these tanks like we've got on our hotbar. I'm not exactly sure how to do it. Let's see. 
I hit F on this guy. I can't get in there. There's nothing to get inside the generator itself. Let's try the dispenser. If I click on the dispenser, hit F. Yeah, there's no inventory there for me to grab oxygen bottles like there was for the food. So we'll have to figure that out. For now, though, I think we can wrap this episode off. <laughs> wrap this episode up. We're off to a pretty good start. We've got food. We've got oxygen. We've got water. Water right now is being used for the food and the oxygen. There's an enemy there in the distance. Let's take that guy out. Uh, looks like he despawned, so we don't have to worry about him. Let's hop up, just take a quick look. Ooh, meteors. Got one meteor there. Those can come in and damage our equipment, and we can set up defenses for those. But we're not there yet. All right, back down, and then let's look at the build menu, or, or look, look at the tutorial before we end the episode and figure out what we're going to do next time. Boom. Galaxy Planet building electricity, food. I think we need, let's see, is this going to show us? Once you have enough resources, you can start to build on the surface of the planet. But you need to build a foundation. Okay, we've done that. Tells us how to rotate blocks. No big deal. Need electricity to turn on machines. We've done electricity. We're good there. Iron ingots. That might be next. It says, uh, you read the list of blocks. You'll notice that some blocks require iron ingots. You have to put a furnace in your colony with power in order to transform the iron ore to iron ingots. Press F when you have selected the furnace in order to open the transform window. Put some iron ore in the input slot and you will get iron ingots in the output slot. So that's what we might be doing next is producing iron ingots. And there's iron plates that we got to stamp out and all kinds of other materials as well. Same thing with copper. So we'll get to doing hopefully some factory stuff next episode. For now though, this is Glidercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this first episode of Farlight Explorers. I kind of think this is a hidden gem, this game. It's a little quirky, right? We can see the English is not so great in the tutorials and things. Um, but the machines look pretty cool. And I think, like I said, I think this is kind of a hidden gem game. That's why I wanted to put it on the channel. But yeah, I will see you all in the next episode.